hello, and welcome to the channel. I am Nox, and we are once more playing Dragon Age Origins. It has been a while since I recorded this. Like, I know I uploaded one last week, but, um, yeah, it's been a while <laughs> of since I've actually recorded again. So, in the last episode, we were tasked by Morgan with, not Morgan, I already got it wrong. Uh, we were tasked by Morgan's mother, Flemeth, to go on a mission and recruit an army to fight against the Darkspawn. And she sent with us Morgan um, to serve as our guide to get us out of the Kukari Wild, which Morgan was not a fan of. Um, and while we were traveling through the Kukari Wilds, we encountered a Labari, um, who Masenia sort of reluctantly talked like. She wasn't like, ooh, it's a dog. She was like, oh, okay, I got a dog now. Cool. Um, and uh, we have Bark Spawn, who probably will never be with us in this game, but he's he's a good dog. And we, when we reached Lotharin after escaping the Kakari Wilds, um, we discovered that Loghain has framed the Grey Wardens for the death of King Caleb and has sort of put out a bounty on our heads, I guess? Um, so we're, we're now wanted, and some mercenaries tried to kill us, but Liliana intervened, um, a Chantry sister, and she, she helped us fight against the mercenaries, and then she asked to join our party. Well, she more like demanded. It wasn't really demand, she just declared that she was now part of our party because the maker told her to fight against the dark spawn and join us. So yeah, that's our party. And um that was a long intro, but you know, chapters, you can just skip that. Um also real quick, apologies if the um audio quality is bad or if I'm like there's a lot of cuts or whatnot. This episode is going to be just sort of chaos because it's a lot of side quests, but also because um, I am using a new recording device because I've been having a lot of um. I've been having a lot of recording issues in a lot of my videos where like stuff isn't being recorded. And basically, I'm pretty sure that the whole, like, audio is- the whole audio is getting, like, out of sync, like in that one uh, uh, Dragon Age episode, the Beacon is lit, I think, which is episode 5. Basically, the audio is all chaos, and I think it's because of my recording device, because I I usually use the game bar, the Xbox game bar to record that. But I looked it up, and supposedly that is what causes audio to get out of sync. So, I'm pretty sure that is what caused it. So I changed audio, I changed which recording software I'm using, and now I'm using OBS. I don't know how to use OBS, I'm still figuring it out. The audio might be out of place because of that. But so far, it's been so good. And... Yeah, so if the audio is weird, that's that's why. But anyways, I'm pretty sure Danal has a quest for us. He doesn't have a quest icon, but I'm pretty sure. You're gonna make more trouble? We've about all we can stand in Lothering now. Oh. Yeah, sorry for the mess. They had it coming, and they were trouble enough themselves. So, so long as you don't start more, I won't get excited. Right then, name's Denial. Sorry I can't chat much. As you see, we have a full house. Oh, that one's... These two are both very self-explanatory, like he just said. He has a full house. And the Templar, and like everyone has been saying there's no room at the end, so, you know. Uh... I already know why those people fought us, so... Have you heard any rumors? There's knights from Redcliffe wandering the countryside, looking for the place where Andreste's sacred ashes are said to lie. Can you believe that? The urn holding her ashes is a myth. 
And yet these knights say they were sent to find it anyhow to heal our Elaine. I didn't even know he was ill. Maybe he has a blight. If so, then times are even darker for Ferelden than any of us thought. Anything else I can get you? Um... I'm gonna need hurry out of it. Yeah, sure. I hear news from Dinnerham that Tyrn Loghain has been declared the new regent. It makes sense, his daughter being the queen. Anything else I can get you? Yeah. Luck speed your way. <laughs> okay, so we got a codex for that. Not a quest though. We'll check the codex. I know he'll give us a codex as well, so I'll just read it once. And the Barlet. You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. You're out of food? Whole mess of refugees come in and leave near every night. All have hungry bellies, sad tails, and mementos for barter. I sold that bleeding merchant outside about half my lot of two weeks back, and now he's charging outrageous sums for all my food. Um, I, I always like the third one because I think it says a lot about the character and I always kind of think it's just slightly true, but I always think it says a lot more about the character who says it because, you know, usually it shows that that's just sort of how they think, you know, but I don't know. You jealous you didn't think of that first? I may be a cantankerous old coot, but I'm not going to beggar everyone comes by for a loaf of bread. I'll see what I can do about the merchant. You will? Odd thing to be doing, but we'd appreciate it. Show me what you got. Okay, so we don't have a lot of money. Um, but... We're gonna buy the, ne the necessary items that I need. So that. Now, I'm pretty sure Morgan starts with, yeah, improved herbalism. So I think I'm gonna buy all of these. Okay. Um, but I have a lot of equipment that I can sell. You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I've got other gear to sell. I just... I just want your quest, dude. You know if any well-paying work in those ring? Because, as you may have noticed, we don't have a lot of money. <laughs> Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Um, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about, uh, poison. Okay, so we get, we're given this option because the Viana's in our party and she knows about poison. But I also like to think that Masenya would probably know a thing or two about poison. Could she make them? Probably not. But, you know, she's part of Orzmar politics. And I'm pretty sure her father sort of dabbled in poisons according to a rumor somewhere i don't i want to say he did so like i'm gonna be surprised when senya dabbled in such things i figured if i kept asking i'd find someone i'd pay good coin for some simple poison something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice any ideas where i could get ingredients well there's herbs in the north wood as for other stuff, look around town. Some refugees just left things behind to travel faster. I don't really know what you need, though. I, I might have some in stock, too. Um, I don't think he does. Oh, wait, no, I didn't use on the coat now. I forgot to buy bottles. Any luck with that poison? Or you're here to see my stock? Sure, what you got? I forgot to buy bottles.
Ooh, that hurts. Ooh, that hurts so much. Okay. Also, fun fact. So, we got these jams in the... In, up here. I always like to target them. I actually find two bards. And they're, um... Sorry, I don't know any dwarven songs. I'll just play what the innkeeper asks. Please, I must continue playing, else I earn no coin tonight. Yeah, they're actually playing. Like, in-game. That's the more reason. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. And I've never known these two sisters until I... I, I had another recording. I tried to record this once. That was not a good recording. That's... The recording just not good. But I noticed it's the first time. These two. I've never known, noticed these two Chantry... My words. These two Chantry sisters before until now. So, uh, yeah. Those exist. Anyways. As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. Is there something I can do for you? I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orle. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. And why should I help you? The Blackstone Irregulars fought alongside the King's army against Orlais. We've helped nobles defend their land and given our service to people in need for generations. Our current captain, Railnor, is an honorable man who sees that we can do some good in Ferelden once more. He is so confident in our mission that he trusted the Grey Wardens would support us. How can I be of service? I personally love the Blackstone Irregulars. And I think it is a sin and a crime that they never appear in any of the other games. Like, I get why they don't appear in Dragon Age 2. But the fact that they're never even mentioned in Inquisition, I find to be a crime and a sin. Because I think the Blackstone Irregulars are fascinating. I'd love to see more of them. Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Taurat, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. I'll take a look. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Make us blessings like your path. Okay, so we, we will read. Use code it. We're not more code it seems than I thought we would. Um, sure. I suppose we'll start with this one. Letter from the Blackstone Irregulars. A letter written in careful script addressed to you. To the inimitable. That's a first. Never seen that word before. To the inimitable Grey Warden. Your deeds have spread since the tragedy of Ostagar, and I find myself in need of one such as you. I am Railnor, captain of the venerable Blackstone Irregulars, and I hope to win your trust. The Irregulars have come on hard times since the war with Orlais, but I have fought to improve their reputation. Gone are the days of my father's shady deals with unscrupulous nobles and Dunner. No, I have trained a guild filled with honorable men ready to fight for Ferelden, and I'm proud to say that I have seen your, gray, your own Grey Wardens as a sort of model. We are not perfect. My own son advocates a move back to the more lucrative way my father ran the guild. But we are steadfast. It is in this context that I ask for your help, and I promise we will reward you accordingly. Should you be willing, please find letters in this box, and others like it all over the land, and carry out the request therein. For this matter, consider a request from my son as if they came from myself. And thank you again from the bottom of my heart, whether you choose to assist us or not. You're doing the Maker's work, Warden, and I'm honored to work with you. Ram. This letter is marked with the seal of the Blackstone Regulars. So I, once again, I, I love the Blackstone the Regulars. Messenia does do their entire quest line. Um, and I always personally had kind of that they are a bit more involved in the fifth life than they are in the actual realm. Um, that they are in the actual game, but I also think it makes sense for her to join up with the mercenaries because 
you know, she needs an arm. Mercenaries are an arm. So, like, you know. It makes sense. Lothering. I think this is what Denmark gave us. In ancient times, Lothering was little more than a trading post that served the fortress of Ostagar to the south. Nowadays, it is larger, serving Redcliffe and the community of merchants and surface wharves near Orzammar. Its location on the North Road gives it strategic value, so control of Lothering was, has historically been a matter of contention between the southern Banorn and the south reach, Arling. King Callan had himself stepped in and rewarded the town to south reach in the Exalted Age, which has largely ended the feud, or at least the appearance of it. From in pursuit of knowledge, the travels of Church Scholar, Brother Jim I don't think we've met anyone here. Yeah, we just know that Arl Eamon's sick. Liliana is dead, yes. I forgot about her. <laughs> in the cloister, away from the fuss and flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the maker. A lay sister of the Chantry who can beat the stuffing out of trained mercenaries would be notable enough. But one who also claims to have been sick to fight the Darkspawn by the maker himself is... unusual, to say the least. She joined Alistair and Messenia in Lothar insisting that she would prove useful. Alright, well, let's have a start, please. Well, alright. Scraping the barrel. My friend, there are a number of people who pledge to aid the Blackstone Rogers in times of need. Those times are now. Here you will find three letters of conscription. Deliver them to the people below and return to their regulars for your payment. Should any of these people refuse, do what you must to get them to honor their oaths. Okay. Gotta go to Red Club Lothering and Dara. That quest took like. That quest, this quest, I swear, took me like forever to do. Dereliction of duty. My friend, the irregulars require a trusted agent to track down and deal with deserters. Do this and you will be rewarded. I don't know if I really count as a trusted agent yet. Like, we just met. Hell, you guys even like. They're a bit shady because of like your deeds at Ostagar. As far as everyone's known. The only Grey Warden deeds that we had is, like, killing the king, so, like, a bit shady. <laughs> oh. These deserters took with them valuable supplies crucial to the Raker's future as a supplier of martial services. Deal with these waste of space as you see fit and bring the supplies back as proof that the problem has been dealt with. You will ask no more questions as to your methods or the final condition of the deserters. Use your own discretion. So we gotta get Samal and Kalanhad. Lace and Denarim, and Tornus and Frostback Mountains. Um, both of these are signed by Teorin, who is Railmore's son. Unless I have forgot to I will Now that we can get out of this hill. Lovely. So how is it that Terran no gain survived when even the Grey Wardens didn't make it out of that place down south? I heard he saw just in time what those Grey Wardens were doing and saved his men. He's a hero, that's what he is. Poor King Caitlin. Blast those Grey Wardens. They deserve what they got and more. I'll say. First they drag the King down there and then they throw him to the wolves. It's no wonder it all went bad. Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Okay. So, as you can see, there's a bunch of quests here. Oh. I had something else I needed to talk about. Real quick. I just remembered this. Yeah. So. So far, I've been uploading videos consistently, once a week. Um, that is going to be changing, and there's there's multiple reasons, but the main reason is college is starting back up for me, so I can't, I can't really, I don't think I'm going to be able to consistently upload a video once every week. So instead, I'm going to be um, uploading uh, once every other week, and I think that will just for the most part ensure that so I'm let's still talk about your mother for a moment I'd rather talk about your mother well there's nothing to talk about and besides isn't your mother a scary witch who lives no, in the middle of the forest conversation. much more interesting to you perhaps you would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting oh wait you know what's more interesting than that Apostates, mages outside I'm, of the tower. I reloaded That's the game. I forgot. Game. There's a choice I done. Did not read that in the I didn't book like it, so I reloaded you? it. I forgot about I that. Hope the small letters did not strain you over. 
much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. No, sorry. Okay. But basically, I will be uploading instead of once every week, it'll be once every other week, which will allow me more time to upload stuff, but it'll also possibly allow me. Is there really nothing back here? Okay. It'll also possibly allow me to upload multiple videos. Um, and up one like uploading batch because as you may have noticed I have like three series going on because I got Dragon Age and I got Baldur's Gate 3 which just came out um Dragon Age will take preference over Baldur's Gate 3 like I will try to upload Dragon Age if if it's between Dragon Age or Baldur's Gate 3 I'll try to upload Dragons Dragon Age but don't allow me to like continue all the series you know once every once every other week so that way I can like instead of just sort of only being able to release one video from one series or you know one from Dragon Age or one from Baldur's Gate allow me to possibly do both of them I don't know if that makes sense it makes sense in my head but <laughs> um also the other reason is like as I've been doing YouTube I've only been doing YouTube like this this is the only hobby I've been doing I have a lot of other hobbies I don't want to be able to do those other hobbies and do YouTube at the same time. I can't really do that. Or at least I haven't been able to find a way to do that with doing uploads every week. So doing them every other week will give me enough time to do like play video games in my spare time. Such as I haven't touched Dragon Age 2 in a while, which is a sin. Um, and also because I need to finish that <laughs> before well, like Dragon Age Origins is going to take us a while, but I'd still like to finish it sooner rather than later but yeah so long story short uploads are going to be every other week so there won't be an upload next week but the week after so that's that's just it's going to sort of be a bi-weekly thing so yeah i'm pretty sure that's all of the new like information i have anyways elder miriam you got a quest you got a bed for the night you taken care of <laughs> I'm hoping my OBS, I'm hoping OBS didn't catch that truck. There's like a truck that just went past my house. I swear. There were never cars. It was never so loud. And then I decided to do YouTubing and now it's like every single car decides to pass my house. Okay. Um, what's going on here? Ever since good King Kalen passed, refugees and soldiers have been passing through. I'm the elder here, and I've my hands full making sure refugees don't turn to petty theft, or worse. <laughs> Sir Bryant at the Chantry is seeing to matters of defense and such. He'd have more of an ear for your type. Okay, I actually love that little piece of dialogue, because petty theft and stuff. If you are caught stealing, pickpocketing, and loathering, Oda Miriam refuses to talk to you. Too much to do, and not enough time. I just, I just like stuff. Yeah, sort of. I just like it. Uh, do you need any help? I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. You see, this is the weird thing. Like, what if I do know about, like... I have Liliana in the party, and I say, yes, I've dabbled in such things. Not, yes, my friend has dabbled in such things. But now that I have Morgan in here, I'm not allowed to say I've dabbled in such things. But my friend has. I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. I don't, but my friend does. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Sweet. Um, but I'm pretty sure, speaking about this, we got a bunch of... No, wrong one. What am I doing? We can just craft 22 of these healing posters. Also, I see there's an instance of awareness. I swear I will never use this. Like, I will never make this. I will never use it. Even though it would probably be useful against, like, emissaries. I'll 
never use it. <laughs> okay. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? I didn't eat them. Here you go. This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. Thank you. Now, Liliana. Oh, unlock that chest. <laughs> Also, I've noticed only now, Liliana sighs, like, a lot. Whenever you're doing something, whenever you tell her to do something, she always it's like a reluctant sigh. Also, you may notice Allison has a quest for us. We're not talking to her, because I can't do that quest. But, I think I know, because she wants trap making. None of my party has trap making. But I think I know a way to do Allison's quest. I've never been able to do it before, but I think I do know now. Is there anything back here? No, okay. So, as I mentioned, I had put- I had gone back into my game. I loaded back because there was a choice I did that wasn't canonical from Asenia. And that choice was talking to the little boy. She doesn't talk to the little boy until- I don't want to pass this bridge because I know this is a conversation trigger, so we're not going to pass it yet. Because one of the one of them is going to start talking. But basically, she doesn't talk to the little boy until she's with Liliana. She just sort of walks past him. But now that Liliana's in the party, she talks to him. Because I'm pretty sure there's a new dialogue if Liliana's there or she approves. I, I remember this. What am I Which of you, Mother Effer, is going to talk first? So, I take it you did not enjoy your Templar training? That's directed at me, I take it. Do you see any others about who have failed at their <laughs> religious instruction? I didn't fail. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens. And if you had not been recruited, what would have happened instead? I would have turned into a drooling lunatic, slaughtered the Grand Cleric, and run through the streets of Denham in my small clothes, I guess. Your self-awareness does you credit. I thought you'd like that. I didn't actually mean to laugh there, shit. Usually I try to make the shorts of those conversations, like, without my voice. Now I'm gonna have to keep that in. Damn it. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's talk to this orphan. Well, that was a useless conversation. That was a useless quick blow. There was no dialogue difference. I have been lied to. Alright. Okay. Well, that was useless. I'll skip that in recording. Okay. Um, we can't talk to them yet because I haven't done their quest yet. I guess we'll engage. Oh, how long have I been recording? Okay. I. I'm so worried about OBS because. The recording, it records stuff as an MKV file. I don't know what an MKV file is. I don't know how to turn that into an MP4, but like, it's only 0 0.99 gigabytes, which is amazing, because most of my files are like, my entire fucking computer storage. So that's nice. Anyways, let's, let's talk to this merchant. Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Is your profiteering ruffling some feathers? Usually I... Usually I just go for the money, but I've also only... I don't think I've actually played as anyone that's actually good in this game. Like, Masenya... Masenya's not a good person. She's not a bad person, but... You'll see, especially later on, she ain't good. <laughs> you could say that, yes. The nerve of these people! He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets! There's been so many of these men lately. Heartless opportunists, all. It is only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. 
You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Now, I know this one leads to a persuasion check, which I think we're going to take. I don't know what I did the first time. I think I just went for the money, so I was like, I was taking everyone. <coughs> Gosh, I'm. this is not prime recording time. It's better than yesterday's video, though. That video. <laughs> it was cursed. I'm pretty sure the first time, though, I, like... I took the money, but I was very focused on getting money. So I could buy cool stuff. I don't think we're going to do that this time. You don't think you're being slightly unscrupulous? Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. And though, like, a hundred silvers is amazing now, in the future it is not. Um... I think you can compromise and still make a profit now. Like, honestly, this is just bad business, dude. If no one can buy your shit, like... You're not even making a profit. Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. A fine compromise. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Oh my god, Miss My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. I guess that was not the right choice. My decline of money. That broke Masenya. Also, that's... That's sad to see Morga not like me. But I always, I always do love that. Because she does have a point. We got better things to do, but like... Mm -hmm. Side quest, content, I need to see it all. I've already seen it all, but I need to see it all. Thank you. He has a really good item, too. I believe it's the Imperium crossbow, yeah. I'll probably never use it, but I don't know. Maybe I'll keep that. Maybe I'll finally use a crossbow this playthrough. I don't know, probably not. Um, what do you have, sir? <laughs> Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. I am. Let's see what you have. All right. Just don't buy everything up. I don't have the money for that. Mm. No, that's not worth it. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll be able to buy those reps, recipes later, right? All right. I'm going to buy this wine, though. Okay. Mm hmm I'll do it. These are weaker than what she's wearing, right? Yes. Shirts off with great boots. Okay. So oh, that's where we're going. Chantry board. The Chanters are still operating their board. How oh, that dedication! I have never heard that dialogue before. That is a first. Okay. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Uh, greetings? <laughs> I think Miss Inia would like maybe smile back like awkwardly like what what is what is happening? Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanter Devons. What's a chanter? 
one of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof ones, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. I didn't know Allison was a widow. Now, like, I want to help Allison so bad. I've never helped her before. We are gonna get trap making. It's like a vow of silence, then. He can't talk normally? I'm pretty sure there's actually a faction in Orzmar that's like that. Isn't it the female warriors? Don't they cut their tongues out? Um, what are they called? What are they called? Oh, they're such badasses. Damn it, I've forgotten what they've called. I'm pretty sure they also have a vow of silence. Unless it's the chant of light? No. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant, then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. Oh my god, what are they called? <laughs> no, 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 we're not, we're not gonna taunt the dude. Masenia, she respects religion. I know it's unfashionable in this day of age, but she does it. It's insane. She, ins she respects other people's beliefs. Uh, have anything of interest on the board? Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Okay. I forgot about that, dude. And so I shall. Let's get these quests. Bandits, bandits everywhere. Ask subscribe on behalf of Sir Brian, Templar and Defender of the Faith. Know that all those who prey upon refugees do so under the pain of death. The maker spurns bandits and their kind. The Templars offer a sizable reward for the apprehension or execution of the bandit leaders plying their trade in the northern wooded roads. Beware, the bandits are numerous and of considerable skill. Only a well-armed and well-trained party should have should brave the deep wood. We pray for the success of any who undertake the mission. Residents of good standing and passing travelers have indicated there are three bandit groups in the northern wood. This humble chanter would echo Sir Brian's caution, lest you wind up another victim to these evil men. The reward for such service is three sovereigns. May the Maker look after the, his children in our need. In an out- oh. <laughs> Language just escapes me. Also, are we still recording? I am so scared about OBS, because I don't know what's happening. Okay. We should still be recording. Um, do I go into the temple? a chant. I want to be productive about this, and I'm pretty sure we got a quest for bandits, so I think Masenia will be like, okay, let's go take out let's go take care of the bandits up here. Also, how close am I to level up? Okay. Because I, I really want to get that level up. I really want to get that level up so I can do Allison's quest, but it can't be any of these party members, because none of them are skilled in trap making. Also, just for your guys' information, if you hear like the audio, if like the game just sort of cuts forward, it's either because nothing happened or a car passed by, and I just... There's a house right there. I've never seen that house. Head cannon, that's where Hawk lives. Or that's the Hawk estate. One of... I've never seen these houses before. I like to believe that either that is where Hawk lives, or I don't know. The Hawks would live in a windmill. I bet they would. Okay, bandits. Time to get out of here. Uh, back, are you? I thought we settled things nice and amicably with you wardens. We did, but it's time for you and your men to leave. Well, uh, we don't want trouble, so yes, we'll do that. Thank you for sparing us. But you said these refugee types was easy pickings. There are better pastures elsewhere, you fool. Uh, time to go. I've never been able to do that. I've always fought them. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's a first. Okay. I like the bandits. I... I do. 
I low key like I would love if we just had a story just about this band. It's like where'd they go afterwards? It would be amazing. Okay, but let's let's check out this dead dead Templar. I'll read those real quick. I just I really want to read this first. Also, why like why hasn't Hawk done anything about them? Like I know Hawk didn't exist yet, but like logically, wouldn't Hawk have? fix them or just like I don't know he just decide not to be reckless about his magic because Hawk Hawk's a mage my Hawk is a mage he just when he was in Lothering he didn't recklessly shoot spells everyone or everywhere but then he goes to Kirkwall and he's like magic for days I don't know like <laughs> I know Hawk didn't exist yeah but like logically you think he would have done something about that Okay, who do I turn that quest into anyways? I didn't even know that Lothering and the Imperial Highway was a quest. Um, it's... What? That was a quest, right? I thought I thought I could return that to someone. Now I can talk to this elven family here. Over and save. Greetings to you, my lady. If it isn't too much to ask, might you be able to spare some bread? What happened to you? We thought it would be safer in Lothering, that the Terran would bring his soldiers here, but bandits attacked us and took everything: our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves. Can you help us? Do you know just like how amazing- Okay, because all elves live in alien edges. These elves don't live in alien edges, though. But they're not Dalish, so like, they always throw me off. I don't know if they like, they're just non-canon. Or if there are just elves that are just like living outside of alien edges, like everyday lives. I don't know. Maybe they were servants at Ostagar? But if they were like, Why'd they have a pet lamb? I don't know. I want to know about more about these elves. I want to know more about so many characters. I want answers. I met those bandits and drove them off. That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. Okay. Yeah, cause if you talk to them before doing who that inventory space, I don't like it. Take it back. I love that inventory space. It's a great number. It's great. <laughs> That's a great number. Um, I know. I know we have a quest over there, but real quick before we do that, I'm gonna go up here. I'm trying to be as efficient about this as I can. I know I've not been efficient so far. But I'm trying. How dare you accuse me of thievery? I saw you take the supplies from Your grassland eyes are inept. A chasen would never stoop to petty theft. You marsh folk are all thieves and liars. Enough! People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? I said enough! Okay. Where did they go? Woman, well, I want this is my new this is my new task. Where do these people go? I'm gonna follow him first. Okay. Is he gonna go into the inn? Where's he going? Where are you going? Yeah, okay, so he fades out there. Oh, there's a Templar, there's a Templar. Hey, okay. Now, where'd that one guy go? Because he still had an option to speak to him. So we are... Uh... Oh. Oh, what's going on? Oh, no. Do I want... I don't want to fix that again. Oh, you're just going over there. That marsh man stole from me! I know it! A few knights have come through here, searching for some holy artifact. 
Not one of them stopped to help. I love the chaser. In the wilds we are eaten, here we starve. Is there no end to our Except fortune? I... How do you live without the forest all around? Honestly, Miss Hayne is wondering how you guys live with this sky right above you. Like, this is throwing her off. Are we? Shokke basit isra, marade starit, marade twasit, abana kyun, maras shokra, anane sam kyun. One of you guys were gonna talk. I'm gonna have to fix this too. Let me know in the comments if you guys know a good fix for it. I don't. You know this place will be overrun by the Darkspawn soon. If we go, we won't be able to come back. Oh, yeah, I know that. Shokke basit isra, marade starit, marade twasit, abana kyun, maras shokra, kyun. You aren't one of my captors. I have nothing to say that would amuse a dwarf. Leave me in peace. Okay. So. I don't like this. I, I never like the question. I never like the options with STEM. The dialogue options. So. I'm not going to say what are you. My, my sort of headcanon is that she's not saying what are you, but instead you don't look like the you don't look like you belong here. Like, because he doesn't. He's not human, he's not elf, so... We're not gonna ask what are you, because I'm pretty sure Masini knows what he is. But I also want to get dialogue about the key. A prisoner. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. The revered mother said he slaughtered an entire family, even the children. It is as she says. I am Sten of the Beresad. The vanguard of the Kunari peoples. Okay. I forgot how amazing Sten is. Like, I'm here trying to, like, go around this other, like, scenario. Because I want to learn about the Kunari. But I don't want to say what are you, because that's sort of, like, rude to say. And instead, I forgot how literal Sten is about everything. Oh, I've, I haven't interacted with Sten in so long. Canari. Down here? Like, must anyone know about the Canari, but like, probably not that much. Like, she knew about as much about the Canari as Stan would know about the dwarves, which I'm guessing isn't much. Like, they recognize each other when they see each other, and they know certain things about each other, but not like an exceptional amount. If you haven't heard of us, that is your own shortcoming. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, <laughs> that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. Okay, so, once again, we're just gonna make this entire conversation with Stan just, like, not canon, because she knows what the Kinari is, but, like, I I love Morgan's... I like Morgan's point of view, and I like Stan's point of view. I'm gonna have to do a run where I have Morgan and Stan at the same party, because those two... their points of view are just amazing. Um... What did you do to end up in here? I have been convicted of murder. Have the villagers not spoken of this? Who did you murder? Actually, are you guilty? Are you asking if I feel guilt or if I am responsible for the deed? However I feel, whatever I've done, my life is forfeit now. Who did you murder? The people of a farm hold. Eight humans, in addition to the children. So. Actually, 
Capture you must have been difficult. There is no difficulty in capturing prey that surrenders. You didn't resist capture. I waited for several days until the knights arrived. Why? Because I wished to. I'm not going to say it because I know I know what his response is going to be. I'm not going to say it. My senior would probably think it, but I'm not going to say it. How long have you been in? How long have you been here? Twenty days now. I shouldn't last much longer. Another week at most. It's a long time to live without food or water. Compared to your kind, maybe. So. Okay. I didn't do this the first time. But, you know, I'm thinking about it now. From a sinner's point of view, the Grey Wardens need the crews, basically. She can't perform the joining. But the Grey Wardens recruit people regardless of their past decisions. And Masenia's like, we don't have shit right now. We need an army. She's a Grey Warden and she needs to do her duty. And right now the Grey Wardens have no one. So any allies it can take are worth it. Are you interested in seeking atonement? Death will be my atonement. There are other ways to redeem yourself. Perhaps. What does your wisdom say is equal to my crime? You could help me defend the land against the Blight. The Blight? Are you a Grey Warden, then? And, like, the main reason why she's asking this is, like, you're not just a murderer, but, like, she can recognize a warrior when she sees one. So she's like, he, he is of use. And as Morgan said, this this dude, it's a shame that he's just being wasted away here, left to be killed by the blight or starvation. Yes, I am. Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. <laughs> you know, I wonder if that's just he says that just in general, or if it's because... I'm a woman. I haven't thought about that. It might be because I'm a woman. Would the revered mother let you free? I assume that she's asking this to, like, Liliana. She wouldn't ask this to him. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. I'll leave you for now. Farewell, then. To be left here to starve? Or to be taken by the Darkspawn? No one deserves that. Not even a murderer. Yeah. Okay. We got a lot of codexes. I guess I'll read them now. But first, how long have we been recording? I'm so worried about OBS. Like, it seems more stable than Xbox Game Bar, but I'm still not trustworthy of any recording software. Okay, sorry about all the audio cuts. Um, but let's. We got a bunch of. Um. Entries. Sten. Either you have an enviable memory or a pitiable life to know nothing of regret. The Northern Islands are remote. Lush jungles that harbor cities rumored to be the most extraordinary ever. To be the most extraordinary ever. What? The Northern Islands are remote. Lush jungles that harbor cities rumored to be the most extraordinary ever built. I, I don't feel like that's. I don't know, it just feels like weirdly worded. These are the lands of the Kunari, lands that no foreign eyes ever see. Only the stories of the three exalted marches waged against the giants have reached the south until the arrival of Sten, the stoic giant in the cage was surely the gr greatest thing the people of Lothering had ever seen until the blight struck. So yeah, like, Masenia wouldn't know much about the Kun, but she know I don't I honestly don't know how much the dwarves know about the Kyun. If you are no more knowledgeable on like lore, please let me know in the comments. I assume they know enough, but not a great amount. The Chasen. 
The Chase and Wilders have lived in the Kakari Wild since the first wars with the Alamari drove them southward a millennium ago. According to their own lore, they had always been a forest-dwelling people that adapted quickly to their own home. Game and fish are plentiful in the wetlands, and the Chasen thrived. For time, they and the hill-dwelling Avars were true threats to the northern lands. The Deventer Imperium had arrived and was hard-pressed to keep them back, to keep back the waves of invasions from the south and the west. The fortress of Ostergaard was built specifically to watch for Chasen Bor. English is not my strong suit today. Were specifically were built specifically to watch for Chasen hordes venturing north of the tree line. It was not until the legendary war, warrior Hafter standardly defeated the Chasen in the first half of the Divine Age, that the question of their ability to contest the Lowlands was settled permanently. Today, the Chasen are considered largely peaceful, though their ways are still primitive compared to their own, to our own. In the Kokari Wilds, they live in strange-looking huts built on stilts or even built into the great treetops. They paint their faces and are split into small tribes ruled by shamans, like those amongst the Avars. There are many tales of these shamans, having learned their magic from the witches of the wild. Witches that inspire as much terror as they do awe and gratitude, even if there is no definitive proof they exist. Gratitude? Okay. Interesting. In particular, the tale of Flemeth, the greatest witch of the wilds is celebrated amongst all the tribes. Interesting. Well, there's no way to know how many there are in the wilds today. Few travelers that pass through the forest tell of Chasen eking out an existence even in the frozen wastelands of the far south. One can assume that should the Chasen ever organize themselves once more, we might have reason to fear them here in Ferraudin. We ignore them at our peril. From Ferraudin Folklore and History by Sister Petrang, Chantry Scholar. Okay. I love Sister Pentrine because I totally forgot about her existence. Like, it was only while DA2, she's like writing every single codex entry. And I was like, oh, you're of somewhat of importance that I've. I didn't know. So I love seeing every note from her. A note from Sir Henrik. So many of my fellow knights have been searching for the urn. Surely one of them must have found Brother Genitivi by now. Still, until I hear that all is well, I must proceed as planned. The Genitivi holds the key to find the urn of sacred ashes. We always knew this, but I believe I now know where Brother Genitivi lies. I've been to his home in Denrim and found the trail, and I'm amazed that other knights have not done likewise. Unless they have. No, it is best not to get caught up in thoughts of conspiracy. Sir Donald awaits my reports on the ring. I must go to him immediately and report what I have learned. Should anyone find these ramblings, all I ask is that you is that he be informed of my fate. I pray that he Complete what I cannot. I pray that he complete. I don't know. Maybe I just can't read <laughs> today. A note from Sir Henrik of Redcliffe. Oh, yeah. Blackstone letter of inscription. Oh, I still need to recruit the one person in Mulzerain. I don't remember who it is. I'll have to read the quest again. Dear friend, you're receiving this letter because you or someone else placed your name on an article of conscription, thereby pledging your life to the Blackstone Irregulars. With war looming on all fronts, the Irregulars must build in numbers. We are forced to call upon those who have sworn their assistance to make good on those oaths. Say farewell to your friends and family. When you may return to them, you must prepare them for the possibility that this will be your last day together. Your sacrifice is appreciated. Teora. Okay. Okay. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dark spawn hand. There! One of their minions is already amongst us. This woman bears their evil stench! Can you not see the vile blackness that fills her? Like, you're right, but how'd you know? <laughs> um... Why don't you keep your voice down? I watch the Black Horde descend on my people! I will not be silent! Please stop! Somebody shut his mouth! But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minute!
minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! I think Miss Anya, like, she's probably seen people in her time as, like, a warrior down in Orzammar. Well, she wasn't a warrior, but, you know, you know what I mean. She's probably seen people, like, traumatized like this before, so she, she knows sort of what's going on. What happened to you? My family, my clan, those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the dog spawn. How did you escape? I, I ran, hearing my wife screams as they dragged her off. She had hair the same color as yours. Dude, this dude is like, yeah. I'd imagine she, Miss Anya, would probably say something like, my condolences for your loss, but this is no way to honor her death. Are you calling me a coward? Ooh, none of these options are really good. Um, listen to yourself for a moment. I, I have shamed my ancestors. But the blackness will come. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. You know, morale's low morale is bad. I don't want to be like, oh, like, you know. I don't know. Whenever sometimes I see like a thing, it always reminds me of like a like a YA protagonist or like an anime protagonist. I'm like, there's always hope, you gotta have it now. She's just like morale low morale is bad. So there's always hope, muster your courage. Not in like a, you know, there's always a way to fight it, but like, we can't have these village having shit morale. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. I, I'm not content with the dialogue choices I'll take. Your king is dead! There is no hope! Well, that's that's a skill. But alas, choices. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. Maybe. I can't remember what Miss Anya does canonically. And Sister Leliana. Thank you, Sir Maron. I forgot about this. Um... Who's in charge of this Chantry? The Revered Mother runs the Chantry itself, and Sir Bryant heads the Templars stationed here. Did you know that there were bandits on the highway? Were? Did you drive them off? Well, Sir Bryant will appreciate that. Can you tell me anything about the caged Canari? Is he still alive? The Revered Mother put him there a few weeks back. He'll be dead soon enough. I, I guess we'll just hear any news. I thought the that wasn't the most, like... I want to say organic, because I don't think that, like... It wasn't the most natural conversation, but I like to have, like, their, nat their conversation to be, like, natural. Not just, like, robotic, but, you know. I didn't hear any news. Not since Terran Logain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Cool. Make her watch over you. Let's, let's go here. What? Okay, I'm gonna have to fix this. Ah, that's gonna be a pain. Once again, let me know in the comments if you know how to fix that. The whole... Oops. I, I can probably look it up and find a way. Spawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Now, do these two disappear? I can't recall. Okay. Yes, my lady. Who might you be? I didn't 
talk to Liliana. I haven't talked to any of my companions. Oh my god, we're gonna have to fix that. Um, this episode's gonna be so long, or just maybe editing skill will make it so short. Probably not. <laughs> um, we don't know what side of this they're on in regards to the whole Grey Warden scenario, so you can call me Masenya. I should probably use a fake name, but nobody of importance. Ooh, that's also tempting. I am Sir Bryant, commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? The fact that he thinks that I, a dwarf, am one of Arl Eamon's knights, like, that's kind of cool. That would be kind of a cool story. A dwarf knight serving a Ferodin army. And if I were? I'd tell you what I told the others. Nothing here will assist your quest. The urn of sacred ashes is a myth. How many of his knights come here? Arl Eamon oh, has wait. fallen ill, and his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. It wasn't how many, it was how many. Um, Themes seem, theme seem very dire in the village. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. Oh, damn it, the bit. Well, I need some information. I also wanted to mention the bandits, damn it. If the matter is important, certainly. Um, are you in charge here? The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. Are you the only protection this village has? Our ban was summoned by Tan Loghain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. How did Templars fight against magic? I think... Would she know about that? She probably would, because she's a... She's a, um, a dwarf, so they would know. If the matter is important, Certainly. I want to tell you about the band. Okay. Whatever. What can you tell me about the Canari prisoner? I was there at the farmhold. The beast stood there, wet with the blood of the children. He didn't even deny slaughtering them. The revered mother ordered him caged. She has more mercy than I do. But perhaps she is right, and the Maker has love for all his creations, even the Canari. Is there any way he could be released? You can ask the revered mother. I say let him rot until the Darkspawn claim him. Okay. Now, unless there's something else you need. Yes, I want. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Hello again, what can I do for you? About those bandits, yes, thank you. <laughs> We're not going to tell him. I know this dude doesn't really have a problem with the Grey Wardens, but... Unless he doesn't know that, so she's not going to say that. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? Um, I took care of them. Indeed? They're gone? It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? Absolutely. I could keep an eye out for trouble. For the right pay. I wish I could afford such help to be truthful. Take your reward at any rate. It is all I have to offer. If it interests you, there is a Chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The Chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. No. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Miss Anne doesn't trust anyone. She's not going to tell them that she's. Yeah. 
a great warden. Even though she did tell Sten, but like, he's in a cage, so. <laughs> Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the Urn of Sacred Ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. I was hoping to meet Arl Eamon, in fact. Why is that, if I may ask? We need his help against here in Logan. Like, I I don't feel like I need to be cryptic with this dude. And he, he would know that we're Grey Wardens because he knows who Alistair is, so I'm assuming he would know that Alistair is a Grey Warden. I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill, or worse. That is my primary concern. Is there any point in going to Redcliffe, then? He may be dead already. Or perhaps his luck has changed in the weeks I have been gone. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesser is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Tell me more about these sacred ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the Prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. I'm a dwarf, dude. We dwarves don't learn much about your religion. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesser exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. Oh, Sir Henrik? Yeah, I have something of his. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. I'm sorry about your friend. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Okay, I think it's safe to talk again. The, the trash truck is distant enough that I don't think one party will pick it up. So your quest for Ash has brought you here? I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tails. I should go. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. Okay, so I'm gonna have to look out for Sir Do Dornall. I've never noticed him before. But we're gonna have to look out for him this time while playing. Of course I'm Yes, there it is. Well, uh, you can't escape me. Yeah. First flight. I know there's a book somewhere here. When the maker spoke, the chant of light scattered in the darkness. The word dispelled fear and ignorance. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. Let those who have sinned be forgiven. And when the chant spreads across all four corners of the world, let it rise at last to the ears of the maker. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Let him hear our righteous dedication and enduring perseverance. Yes? What can I do for you? I have a letter for you from the Blackstone Irregulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my sister. Sure, sign the paper, she said. You'll enjoy some coin now, but they'll be back. I guess I'll see you on the front lines. And then shall the Maker yeah. return to us. And then shall the Maker huh? return to the Black City in heaven. And then shall the chant of light make it pure. Let all mankind there... be humbled. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness I guess it's upon us. And when the maker spoke, the chant of light scattered in the darkness. Is, the word dispelled fear and ignorance. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comfortable. I'm sorry, and only one of us can have my hairstyle. Redemption be delivered. 
But those who the have seen gone, be sister. I am sorry, but I must prepare the Chantry's vestments before we flee. There is very little time. The gone. That's really funny. I've never noticed that. I never noticed that that hairstyle is the hairstyle that I have. Like, I've seen it so many times. I don't think I've ever registered. The oh, hey. Until just then, because she has the same hair color. I know one of these bookshelves were useful. Because that's how you read. You go behind the bookshelf and then you understand. Okay, since we're here, we're gonna get Miss Enya, not Miss Enya, Liliana changed into our equipment. Just because I keep forgetting to do that. Um, leather armor. And then I always play her as a archer. I think I mentioned that already. But she's always an archer in my mouth. My playthroughs. That's a cool bow. Um, I will use these arrows or I will forget about their existence. That's sort of how arrows work. I either remember them or I absolutely forget about them. So I noticed this gain a set boost, but we also have a bunch of chain mail. So I want to see. Do I like what the chain mail looks like? Because I'll also do that. I prefer the look of the chainmail, yeah. So we're gonna equip him in chainmail. I do love the look of scale, but tragically, we don't have um, everything for it, which is a tragedy. It's a sin. Oh, one minute, and then. To get it out of my inventory space, I guess I'll equip. I'm never gonna use. I've never used really crossbows, but I think I'll equip. Chant of light scattered in the darkness. And when the chant spreads across all four corners of the world. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. Um... Who are you? I am the revered mother of this Chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. What tithe is acceptable? Uh, my Cindy doesn't really need a blessing, but you know... She wants to get the canary, so like, she, she gotta, you gotta play the game. Might I suggest 30 silver? Do I have 30 silver? Yeah, I, I definitely have 30 silver. Very well. 30 silver it is. Thank you, dear woman. What can I do for you then? Okay, so... Leliana came looking for the Great Wardens. And I'm gonna assume that Leliana told Miss Enya that, like, she's safe to talk to. I don't know. He we're head cannon eating shit right now, so I'm a Great Warden. I need your help. A Great Warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tan Logain declared the Great Wardens to be outlaws. So I've heard. Oh, I don't like either of these options, but... You have not heard. The Tern claims that the Grey Wardens are responsible for the King's death. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... Not entirely how I intended for that to go, but okay. I want to talk about Stan. The canary you imprisoned. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? What did he do? He butchered an entire farmhold. Only one of the youngest hid long enough to survive. The child said his father had found the canary gravely wounded and took him in. That kindness was repaid with murder. The bandsman found the canary just standing amidst the carnage. He did not resist them. 
Are you certain he did it? He confessed quite readily, but would give no reason for the crime. Even the seasoned knights who apprehended him were disturbed by the carnage. However docile he appears, do not be fooled. That Kunari is a danger. Is there any way I can convince you to release him? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. I was thinking you might release him into my custody. And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, your reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. Ooh, that's too sweet. Okay, so... There's that locked cabinet. And... I'm schism of the something. I really want to see what's in that locked cabinet. So, we quick save. I shall. Very useless. How do I open that cabinet? Mm -hmm. What quest do I need to do? Also, do you notice how many DDs there are? There's Denal the Innkeeper. Dornal the Knight and Dornal Garrison. Like, that's too many D names, all similar. Okay. I'm probably gonna cut. I'm wondering, Morrigan, do you believe in the Maker? Certainly not. I've no primitive fear of the moon, such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep at night. But this can't all be an accident. Spirits. Magic. All these wondrous things around us, both dark and light. You know these things exist. The fact of their existence does not presuppose an intelligent design by some absentee father figure. So it is all random, then. A happy coincidence that we are all here. Attempting to impose order over chaos is futile. Nature is, by its very nature, chaotic. I don't believe that. I believe we have a purpose. All of us. Yours, apparently, being to bother me. I forgot that the bridge was a um, conversation location. That one. Okay. You wish something more of me? I have the key to open your cage. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. She agreed to release you into my custody. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. Very well. I'll let you out. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Thank you, sir. Glad to have you with us. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Okay, so... Oh, blast it. Just, just for a second. Yes. If you must. Okay, so... He has, like, no XP. I don't know if it is going to be possible to do Allison's quest. Because I don't want to bring him along, because he doesn't do these side quests with us. Okay, no Allison quest. That's a bummer. Maybe, maybe when I level up, I'll see what his level is. You know what? We're going to make a, we're going to make a save here, an actual save. Well, let's go take care of these bandits. Well, all right. Allow me. I could do that for you. 
going to get over encumbered so quickly. Actually, one minute. It's an invisible wall. Yes. We don't know what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! <laughs> the way he says that's amazing. Okay. Actually, I suppose you should be the one to go forward. Let's activate that mode. Oh! Oh, there's more. Okay. That is good to know. There's a lot of them. Okay. Um. <laughs> that will help us significantly. Okay, so. There they are. Just move you all the way over there. Lovely. That was a mm, okay. Well, uh, the blood's normal. I don't know what I did because I didn't actually do anything. I tried to like raise anti-analyzing, and that broke my computer. Like it crashed the game. So I restarted my PC, and now it's working again. Maybe it's just being overworked. I don't know. I honestly don't know what I did. Do we just need to restart my PC every time it does that? Rubble. Okay. Well, I forgot about what I was here to tell you guys. Okay. Actually, actually, actually. Okay, so let's. We already have number four activated. What are what mode are you in? You're in shield defense, which is kind of useless, but. Okay. Yeah. I want you, Liliana. Not me. I want you to rush. Here's here's my skin. Oh my god. Lightning bolt hand. Oh, because he has two Mabari hounds on him. Mabari are savage. Okay, no. Dude, you need to be focusing on these guys. What? 
what bow are you using? Which bow are you using? Let's let's focus on your better one. But you know what? I'm gonna have you be attacking this dude. may not have forgotten sort of how hard some of these fights are. Heart? Did I say heart? I think I said heart. Oh. <laughs> I... this wasn't the best. with archers. I haven't tried out an archer build personally myself. I'm pretty sure the next character that I'm going to be playing, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that I was, I was going to go back and play through as more evil Grey Warden. He's a rogue, and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to make him an archer. So maybe with him being an archer, Liliana will kind of get a bit better. I'm also pretty sure that she always will attack the person that I'm attacking. Which is a fun little feature. Right. She always sells. Okay, hopefully I'm hoping that with the level up, Sten will also sort of get a level up, and then I can get Trap. I don't think I will be able to, of course. which is unfortunate. What what is it? Why am I rushing? I'm on a tank. What is my second doing? Alistair, you do not need to be focused. Did Alistair just die? Oh, I'm about to die too. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Yeah, I don't want you to die. Oh. One minute, one minute. You have bombs, don't you? This is like, I think, one of the worst I've ever done. Okay. was one bomb. I don't think I used it right. Um, I 
Okay, you can handle that. We're gonna rush. Oh. <laughs> that was terrible on my side. I promise I'm sometimes not better than that. <laughs> okay. That was terrible on my part. Okay. But then again, I rushed it with Masenga. I'm so used to, like, not really needing a healer. Well, I'm so used to not really needing to, like, focus. I'm so used to not really needing to focus on my health because I either have a healer in the party or I'm so high level. Like, during Awakening, Masenia's untouchable. Like, you can't deal damage to her. There is one more bandit camp, but I'm a bit afraid to go there, so we're going to go over here instead. Also, honestly, I don't think Liliana is that useful, but I don't think she brings that much to the party. Which, you know, I like Liliana, but she doesn't... I think as much as she could. Oh, wait, one minute. Trust me. So Okay. make it better. That actually triggers my arachnophobia more. <laughs> I think I'll start to hold on a bit longer. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's one of them overwhelming. The spiders can also perform overwhelm. And that, that shit triggers me, like, that. My arachnophobia doesn't do that. Okay, so we just got a bunch of toxin extracts, which means I can now do poison. Which means I can now make... What does death root extract do? What's their inventory looking like? Okay. So, here's the thing. For anyone who does know how archers work... Hmm? Mm hmm? Um, I really gotta figure her out. But, like, are long bows or short bows better? I don't know. I don't need the nature resistance. This looks better. I know it's tack slower, but... Because we got a fight coming up. I never do this. I I never give myself useful arrows. Like I never use them. But you know what? We're gonna use them this playthrough. Which goes against everything. I usually save them, but I don't wanna keep using injury kits. So we're gonna use fire arrows against these guys. It's the last bandit camp approaching us soon.
actually want that. Nah, damn it. I thought I could maybe get it before I get here. Oh, don't no, no. You're a I need that, like, the big sweep. Oh, I'm low on health. I didn't miss that. Okay. I'm using so much. Okay, because I'm like, I'm a person that like towards my resources. Oh, that. Mm. I didn't like that, but now. She only has one fire arrow left. Waste. That was a waste. I'll do it. I think, honestly, the only time I ever used fire arrows were like. During, I think it was like the final. The finale of this game. That's when I used all my arrows. I had a shitload of that fight. Okay, well that was a lot of equipment. Alright, we'll give that to what's his face? Stan. Or why 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 would I give that to Stan? I could give it to her. I have been wearing leather gloves. I'm an idiot. <laughs> How long have I been wearing leather gloves? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my armor's shit. Okay, which I believe... Why do I have a minus five? Do I have a negative stat? Oh my god. What what is wrong with my armor? Oh, it's because I'm in powerful swings. Okay, one minute. Seventy six. Okay. So could if I add it. It is, it is just weaker now, like, it's, it's inferior to what I have. Like, sure, it gives me 10 physical resistance, but I don't, I don't think I need physical resistance that much right now. But physical resistance is pretty okay, like. Uh, yeah, we're, we're okay, we're fine, we're fine. I know when I level up, I think my party members level up, even though I don't have. I think. Maybe when Alistair levels up, I'll swap him out for... I think the blight has come. Um... Well, this isn't right. I 
I'm with Jen. cousin in the Templars. He says the mages in the tower out on Lake Kalanhard are all turning into demons. They always say that, though. Well, this time it's true. They're not sure what to do about it yet, he says. What's to do? I thought you killed them. Easier said than done. Mages pick a fine time to go turning into demons, I tell you. I hope you have the game's broken again. Lovely. Okay. Any luck with that poison? Or you're here to see my stock? I have what you asked for. Splendid! If those beasties come on my land, I hope it teaches them a lesson. Yeah, enough gold to cover any of your expenses and then some, hey? Eh? <laughs> that was not worth it. Did you see the new recruiters out? I'd keep your voice down if I... I'm gonna have to somehow find a way to fix all of this. Oh my gosh, okay. where your eyes linger, Alistair. Yes, well, don't worry. It's not what you think. I see. I was looking at your nose. And what is it about my nose that captivates you so? I was just thinking that it looks exactly like your mother's. I hate you so much. Hmm? What? Never mind. Their banter's amazing. Um, don't know what's wrong with that, but, uh, Dragon Age, why are you such a mess? The path of righteousness is full of hardship. The Maker smiles upon its travelers. Oh, Alistair's over. Okay. I think I'm gonna boost Alistair's constitution. I need to get his decks up a bit higher. So... I'll get it to 26 dexterity just because he sort of needs that. You know, instead of putting one into strength, I guess I'll put one into. Yeah. We'll do that, I guess. But he needs a cunning of 14 so he can get better tactics. So. Yeah. Um, okay. We'll give him to a dex 26, and then I'll start dumping a bunch of stats into strength. Yeah, okay. Because dexterity will also make him defend better. Okay, so what scale do I get you next? Shield wall? Is it shield wall time? Yes. Yes. Shield walls is going to increase his survivability so much. When bears attack. On behalf of the Thed, on behalf of Thed the farmer and his departed son, I inscribe this missive. As the maker is my witness, I charge all those with knowledge of arms and armor to brave the dangers of the northern wood to find the family of bears that mauled and killed the boy Enneth. For they are for they are an abomination in the Maker's sight, and their hides would prove great comfort to the Northern farms and solace for Thed's family. As charter for as chanter for Lothering, I do pledge a sum of one sovereign to whoever carries out this. The Maker's will. Exercise caution first and foremost. May his light bathe us all. A last keepsake. A thanks to all villagers who have opened their barns and crosses of refugees in these dark times. The chantry for Regularly hears praise from our visitors, and your virtuous deeds are mentioned in many prayers. Sadly, there is a lone boy in the village whose mother, good wife Sarah, is missing. As she has been missing for the better part of a week, as of this writing, she is presumed dead. May the Maker bless her passing. She was a lady of middle years with red hair and fond of a green cloak. If any traveler or resident comes across her in the wilds, please return her body or the effects of, or the effects on her remains. In later years, the boy will be thankful to have such keepsakes to remember his brave mother by. The office of the chanter will compensate this kindness with a sum of 50 silvers. May the maker turn his gaze on us all. I'm sorry. So there's a woman missing. And your reward is 50 silvers. But killing a bear is a sovereign? I don't know. That feels like a bit different. 
I don't know, maybe it makes sense because she's already dead, whereas the bear is a more pressing matter, but I don't know. That payment feels a bit weird. Also, we stamp them with the Grey Warden sigil. I'm pretty sure that's Grey Warden sigil. I never noticed that. Uh, no wonder everyone's looking for you. You're stamping everything with your sigil. This net game is such a mess. A mess, I say. A mess. Look at this. Oh, and now it's just... Now it's fixed. Such a mess. I'm gonna have to fix all that after recording. But yeah, so tragically she doesn't have the green cloak, but this is the little boy's mother. Found the body of the boy's mother and recovered her keepsake. Oh, so I guess she does she does have the green cloak on her. Sara's keepsake. Wait a second, are you telling me armor actually does warm her? I think this is all bullshit. And if it's not, what? Are you telling me that that's what the I- Do I- Is- okay, is that just flavor text? Or is that actually, like, legit? Like, does scale mail actually reduce missile damage when all more? I didn't even know about any of this. No. Oh my gosh. I never even knew that. Okay. We leveled. So. <laughs> Once more, all into strength. I can take a specialization. I level seven. Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay. Like, usually it takes Masenya forever to reach a specialization. Why is Reaver not unlocked? Reaver should be unlocked. Why is that not unlocked? I bought that in Awakening. Hmm. Okay. That's a bit weird. Um... Usually you have to go through the game and unlock everything yourself. One minute, let me find the note card from Asenia. There it is. Usually you have to go through the game and unlock all the specializations. But once you unlock them once in the game, they always remain unlocked. So we now have the champion. Do we get... What's her first specialization? So you can have two specializations in the game. And they, they're they an enhanced version of the character's base class, basically. Um, What do I start off as? I believe it's a Berserker first. Yeah, okay. So, the first Berserkers were dwarves. They would sacrifice finesse for a dark rage that increased their strength and resilience. Eventually, dwarves taught these skills to others, and now Berserkers can be found amongst all races. They're renowned as terrifying adversaries. So, our first specialization is going to be a Berserker. Which will increase our strength and health, which is nice. It took me forever to get her specializations, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay, 
and do I take the syrup now or do I wait? What's what's go did I get last? It was powerful swings, tremendous strength, stunning blows, and then we get the zerk. Okay. The character's fondness. Which one does? Yes. Each attack has a chance of stunning an opponent. I love this skill. Oh, I still have to kill bears. I forgot. Where are the bears again? Aren't they up here? These bears are going to be a piece of cake. Okay, so I never really used my mask. But when I was like, testing out OPS, I was like, playing with it through that auto saving right before we get the right before we got dark spawn. I was playing through that auto save to make sure that the audio was right and that you can hear me during a fight, which hopefully you can. If you can't, then I will fix that. But I was playing through that part, that autosave a lot, and I was just to sort of see that everything was working, and I used Morgan's Mind Blast. I realized I could just stun all of the um, Dark Spawn, and now I just can't stop using a Mind Blast. It's great skill, and I, I never used it. Also, I just love that the spiders have bones, because that's, that's not how spiders work. They don't have bones. Or are these? They're dried up. No, no, those are their bones. I love it so much because that's just. That's not how spiders work. Uh, back into the blight. Okay. This is just the blight. This is all just the blight. This is what the world looks like when the blight comes. Lothering has just fallen to the blight preemptively. I hate it so much. Oh, real quick. Do this, do that. Oh, last. Yes. Stan. Vinak. You're nowhere even close to getting out of I don't think we're going to be able to do it, damn it. The path of righteousness is full of hardship, but the Maker smiles upon its travelers. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. For a foundation built of stone, marble, or any precious metal is worthless if faith in the Maker is absent. Of course. Really, Dan? Go back away, Stan. No Allison quest for us. Vashadan. Yes. I'm okay with that, though. Tragic. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know about the Allison quest, she needs you to make traps. But um, I have no traps. So since they don't have the trap making skill, I can't teach her how to make traps. I'll, I'll maybe record that as my evil Grey Warden. Well, he's not really evil. He's just not good. I'll probably record that. I might give him, like, trap making or something. And then you guys can see what it's... What that works like. I don't know. I've never done the quest. I forgot about this. It really is alright. Okay. I absolutely forgot about this. Okay. I don't know. Morgan. Also, I just want to eat some more spider. Okay. 
forgot to jump. I didn't even get killed, did I? Okay. That was <laughs> Spider's form's not worth it at all. Oh my gosh, just die already. sort of Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. Oh, what did they do to your beard? Is your beard glitching out? I don't know. <laughs> You're welcome. The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. His beard glitched through his lip. <laughs> oh, Dragon Age Origins, why are you so broken? Uh, okay. It's a bit complicated, but you're welcome to come along. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says half of it. Thank you for the offer. There may be more excitement on your path than is good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? What a, as you desire. What a mess of a game. Okay. 